Hey, what's up? You know, this projector looks like a kid's projector, but it has very adult features, such as native Full HD resolution, 9000 lumens brightness, dual hi-fi speakers, and others. The compact size allows you to carry the projector from one room to another, or even take it with you to the college or the office. However, because of its small size, there is a small cooling system inside. Is it enough to keep the product from heating up? Let's find out. I was very surprised when I received this box. I didn't even realize how compact the projector was. We can see its image on the front and back, as well as some specs on the side face, such as brand, model name, USB output, power supply. Inside the box there is projector itself, user manual, power adapter, tripod, AV cable, HDMI cable, and remote control. The package is very good for the budget projector, so the compact size is definitely the main feature of sub UP2 projector. Its dimensions are 148 by 123 by 72 mm. The weight is only 1200 grams. For comparison, the iPhone 12 is even longer than this projector. Last week I tested another Full HD projector with 9000 lumens brightness, and you can see that it is much bigger than this one. By the way, I also like combination of white and blue colors of a sub U projector. There is a lens, company logo, and IO receiver on the front. On the back we can see the second IO receiver for remote control, a DC power port, 3.5mm audio jack, EV port, HDMI and USB ports. You know, on this picture, the speakers are located on the left and right sides. However, actually the sound comes only from the right side. And there is also a filter under the grill. It means that the air intake is located here. Then the air goes all the way through the body and comes out the left side. Talking about cooling system, I watched different videos for about one hour, and the projector didn't get very hot. Yes, the air comes out warm, but the projector body itself is not hot. That's very good. On the top, there is a focus and keystone correction wheels, as well as power button, return button, navigation buttons, and OK. Most likely you will use a remote control. In addition to the above buttons, it also has mute, play pose, volume up and down, and home. You should also know about one quarter inch mounting screw hole at the bottom of projector. You can use it for the tripod or ceiling mount. There is also four rubber feet at the bottom, so you can just put a projector on a coffee table. Ok, now let's power on a SOP UP2 projector and look at the user interface. You know it doesn't have Android operating system, so you need to connect an external device to this projector to watch movies or play games. You can use HDMI port to connect the projector to the laptop, game console or TV stick, and USB port to connect USB flash drive. After that, you need to select HDMI input source or go to the music, movie, photo or text. In the settings menu, we can choose a picture mode from standard, dynamic, mild and user. We can also change a contrast, brightness, color, sharpness, color temperature, aspect ratio, reduce display size and noise reduction. Among the sound settings are sound mode, treble, bass, balance, auto volume and surround sound. You can also change a language on projector. There are 9 languages available, such as English, Germany, Spanish, French and others. If you install a projector on the ceiling, then you need to rotate as a screen. You can do this in the settings menu. By the way, you can also connect a smartphone to projector. Sub UP2 doesn't have a built-in Wi-Fi, but you can use America's dongle. If you don't have it like me, then you can connect the iPhone or iPad to projector with the Apple Lighting Digital AV adapter. Unfortunately, I don't have it either. I will use HDMI cable and connect a projector to my laptop. As already said, a sub UP2 projector doesn't heat up much during operation, but it is also very quiet. The noise level near projector is 34 dB. And it is only 29 decibel at 1 meter. Talking about volume level, it is about 78 decibel. The projector has dual 3 watt speakers. Overall, the sound quality is good for the compact projector. However, if you really want a home theater experience, then you need to connect external speakers. Finally, let's talk about image quality. As already said, SOP UP2 projector has Full HD native resolution. The image is really clear, but I noticed that the bottom left corner is a little blurry.
As for the colors, they are very good for the budget projector. The contrast ratio is 3000 to 1. You should also know that the Sub UP2 has LED lamp with 50,000 hours lifetime. The recommended projection distance is from 1.5 to 3 meters. The projection size at a distance of 1 meter is 33 inches, while the maximum screen size is 300 inches at 9 meters. I have placed the projector at about 2 meters and the screen size is 80 inches. Stuff. The bezel around the display looks like a metal, especially in the white version, but actually it is a plastic. By the way, show is smart that we should have come out. On Amazon product page we can see 9000 lumens brightness, but in user manual it says about 100 anti lumens. This is enough to use a projector not only in the dark room, but also in the daytime. However, you need to close the blinds or curtains in the room. So I'm not sure is this a kid's projector or not, but it has a really good quality for its price. This is probably the most compact native Full HD projector that I have ever tested. I think the only drawback of this model is the lack of Wi-Fi, but considering the price, you can buy a TV stick additionally, and you will have a functional operating system with any apps such as YouTube, Netflix, etc. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.